and looking at the importance of the universal law of gravitation, which is another name for Newton's law of gravitation. The first thing was the universal law of gravitation successfully explained many things. The first thing it did was it explained the force that binds us to the earth. When we jump, why do we go back to the earth? Any body, why does it get attracted to the earth? Right? This can be understood with the help of Newton's law of gravitation. The second thing the Newton's law of gravitation explained was the motion of the moon around the earth. Why is the moon simply going round and round the earth? Why doesn't it go in space anywhere here and there? Is because the earth's gravitational force binds the moon to it, right? So this also is understood from Newton's law of gravitation. Right. Thirdly coming to this, the third thing we understand from Newton's law of gravitation is the motion of the planets around the sun. All the planets are rotating and revolving around the sun and this is happening because of the law of gravitation between the sun and the planets. Lastly, Newton's law of gravitation also helps us to understand the tides of the sea due to the moon and the sun. You must be knowing about high tides. This high tides and low tides right, are nothing but a phenomena due to different positions of the moon and the gravitational force acting between the earth and the moon. This also can be understood by using Newton's law of gravitation. So children, that is why Newton's law of gravitation is one of the fundamental laws of physics because it helps us to understand various things. Let us revise this important question, right? Then this question is, what is the importance of Newton's law of gravitation? First point, the Newton's law of gravitation helps us to successfully understand one, the force that binds us to the earth, the motion of the moon around the earth, the motion of the planets around the sun, the tides of the sea due to the moon and the sun. So children, next talking about a force which is somewhat similar to the gravitational force. And this force is called as the centripetal force. Now what is a centripetal force? The centripetal force is a center seeking or the force which acts towards the center of any body. For example, this is earth and we know that the moon is revolving around the earth in circular orbits. Now why is the moon revolving around the earth in circular orbit is because of the centripetal force a force which acts from the moon to the center of the earth. Now what would happen if the centripetal force ceased to exist, if it stopped? Then the moon would move in a straight line or tangential to the circular orbit in this particular direction. Like for example children, if I take a stone, I tie it to a string and I rotate this particular stone with the string on it. At one particular point, if the string breaks, will the stone continue to rotate round and round? No, right? The stone is going to rotate as long as the string is attached. But if the string breaks at any point, from that point, that stone would go tangential. Similarly, the moon is revolving round the earth 